In his social contract from 1762, Jean-Jacques Rousseau states that it is impossible to have a natural slave or a right to slavery, that these are contradictory. Now, why is this? Rousseau provides very interesting reasons, reasons that I think in some sense make us all Rousseauians, or at least in some sense indebted to Rousseau's idea that there's something fundamentally inhumane or unnatural about slavery. Part of what we need to see is that in the discourse on inequality, Rousseau writes that what differentiates human beings from other animals is the ability for their reason to allow them to detach or stand back from their sentiments. Therein lies their freedom. Their sentiments given to them as kind of instincts by nature, and different animals for Rousseau have different sentiments. Famously, human beings have pity in, in addition to self-love and a kind of overweening uh, pride or vanity. Human beings alone have a kind of reason that allows them to detach, whereas for Rousseau, other animals can't detach. They're locked into their sentiments or their given instincts. And so they're not really moral agents, properly speaking, whatsoever. Now, what does that have to do with slavery being unnatural for Rousseau? For Rousseau, slavery has to do with an abnegation, a taking away of that ability uh, that uniquely marks human beings, that gives them what he calls in the social contract their dignity, their ability to stand back from their locked-in sort of given natural instincts, sentiments, and consider other possibilities, other courses of action. The slave is someone for whom will is given or imposed by someone else. And so it involves for Rousseau, in a very real sense, a negation or an elimination of the key feature of human agency. And in fact, for Rousseau, there is no master so powerful that they can be there at all times guiding the slave in every way. And so the exercise of will, the exercise of freedom is ineliminable, even in the case of slavery, such that the actual accomplishment of total slavery would mean the complete abolishment of a human being and their dignity. Now this idea that freedom, freedom from nature, freedom from the given is in some sense what is, makes human beings unique in the order of things, and that this gives them a certain status or dignity in the order of things, and is in tension with any politics that declares there to be a right to slavery or natural slavery, some such doctrine, is something that, whether one is a Rousseauian or not, has had a tremendous impact and sort of reverberated across traditions. Even someone like myself, who uh, subscribes to Aristotle's, say, vision of ethics, is in fact with Rousseau when it comes to Rousseau's critique in the social contract of Aristotle's claim that there are such things as natural slaves. Rousseau's argument that somehow uh, human dignity consists in the exercise of rational freedom and disengagement from mere given nature, and that slavery is the impossible attempt to render us unhuman, inhuman, uh, seems to me the far more powerful case.